So this is a bit of a simpler video, but I still think it's pretty interesting. Just the reaction between magnesium and hydrochloric acid. And a quick disclaimer, acids, especially hydrochloric acid, can be really dangerous, so don't handle them unless you know what you're doing. That being said, let's get right into it. So the procedure is pretty simple, just adding some magnesium into the hydrochloric acid. And then using a match in what is known as the lit splint test to see what kind of gas comes off of it. And you'll see here in a minute how it makes that popping sound indicating that it's hydrogen. And you could have also observed from before how it immediately starts to vigorously bubble the second the magnesium is added to the hydrochloric acid. And for this reaction, you can just let it proceed until the magnesium is fully reacted away. And as you can see here, magnesium will eventually just be fully reacted away and gone as the bubbles slowly calm down. As you can see from the second time that I did it, the bubbles will just continue as the magnesium reacts and it'll be that way for a few minutes. Now I'll just briefly explain the reaction taking place here. The reaction, which is up on screen right now, is a single replacement reaction in which one molecule of solid magnesium reacts with two molecules of aqueous hydrochloric acid to yield a mole of aqueous magnesium chloride and hydrogen gas, which came up and made the match pop. So what's left in the vial once the reaction is gone is both aqueous magnesium chloride and hydrogen chloride, which is of course hydrochloric acid, because the hydrochloric acid was definitely in excess in this reaction. And the hydrogen, of course, just goes up into the air. Although if you wanted to, you could set up an apparatus to collect the hydrogen gas. And for this second run of the reaction, I actually took the magnesium out a little bit earlier, and you can see that it is significantly thinner and more ribbony than it was before, even though you couldn't really see it that great the first time. And also, this is an exothermic reaction, so both times the vial was noticeably warmer once the reaction had gotten started. And it didn't reach burning temperatures, but that is definitely something to consider, especially if this is done on a larger scale. So anyway, this was a pretty short, but I thought kind of fun video. But I hope you liked it. Bye.